How are you guys out there doing in YouTube land? This is another episode of Storytime with Piglet Bean. This is Piglet Bean. How you doing, Pig? Say hi to the world, Piglet Cat. So, she's so a really good cat. So, what was the story that you told me to tell? Okay. So, this story is about how I made an atheist believe in God twice, but of course they want to do their own thing, so he forgot about it and ignored it, but acknowledged some crazy stuff. So, once upon a time, this was the late 1990s when burger places had 99 cent this and that for a good deal. So anyways, I'm uh, strolling with my uh, atheist friend and we were really into like lifting weights and stuff like that, right? So we're going to head up to Carl's Jr., which I think is called Hardee's in other parts of the United States. And we're going to uh, get buff and get our get our protein fixes I gotta feed this cow so uh, I gotta get her plate would you wait just one minute so we're going to this place to go get protein snacks right we're gonna get like a thousand spicy chicken sandwiches we're getting so we're going to Carl's Jr. to go get a thousand spicy chicken sandwiches to up our protein intake to get all buff and chad as f, right? So, kitty, you can't, there you go, kitty. Wow, did you hear her? So as we're talking about how buff we're going to get on a thousand spicy chicken sandwiches, right? We are strolling through this park after dark to get to the facility. And we see this homeless lady eating out of trash, right? So we're like, we look at each other feeling all stupid and guilty because we're concerned with getting buff, but this lady is eating Oscar the Grouch's house, right? So she unthankfully and bewilderedly accepted some cash that we gave her and we came to the acceptance that we're going to go to Carl's Jr. and only get like two of these spicy things, right? So I have like a $10 bill left. I go up to the counter and get my two spices, whatever, and um, I have a $10 bill here, $2 bill here. The stuff came out to two dollars and like twenty one cents or something. So um, first, I give her this ten. I was like, "Oh yeah, hold on, let me give you this two and like two quarters or whatever that I have." And she gave me eight bucks back as if I still gave her the ten. So now I have like twenty dollars, and this is back in nineteen nineties economy. I go and sit down. And I'm like, dude, you know what just happened, man? She gave me back like eight bucks. And I was like, I, sh I need to go do the right thing and tell her. He's like, no, don't tell her, blah, blah. I go over there to try to correctify my mistake and not steal. Kitty, nope, stay over here. To, um, come here, Kitty. She can't go wandering in the facility. She has to be here in this room. So, um. I go and try to do the right thing and literally I was like hey you know this happened this happened she's literally like like this like like tapping her fingers on the desk like like that like I'm not stupid I'm not stupid I was like you don't understand I'm trying to give you money back no nope. it's just shut me off I kind of raised my eyebrows and I was like hey then okay let me get like seven more spicy chicken sandwich the second time this atheist dude uh, realized that God exists, or if you want to be very skeptical and what they call a naturalist about it, some kind of spiritual realm exists. His aunt, his mother's sister, just passed away. And he claims that we saw an orb floating above his house. Kitty, come here, Kitty. No, don't go wander out. I remember him pointing at something 
I remember him telling me about it. I remember looking up at the exact spot he said it was at. I didn't see anything. I just played it off. Um, I have other stories about the only time I saw an orb. It's a pretty sad story. People call me crazy. People don't believe me. People closest to me never believe my paranormal tales. But Piglet... Piglet wanted me to tell you. Didn't you, Pig? I love you. You want to go to bed? She has a little bed down here. Your sister. We love you, Piglet. You got very little. T I don't. This cat has to. Not now you don't want to go to bed. She's very indecisive. You guys out there at Social Media Ville, take care.